Um, this one has a GCF. So if we take out a two, you're left with four X squared minus 16 X plus seven. Now set up your star. So four times seven goes up top, 28, negative 16 on bottom. You use this as your A term, not the eight, because we factored out a two. Okay, so we're using this for our whole setup. So that's gonna be four and four. What can you multiply to get 28, a positive, that you can add to get a negative? They're both gonna be negative, right? Do you know what it is? Negative 14 and negative two. And then you reduce that. So this is two over negative seven. And this is two over negative one. So it's gonna be two parentheses, that's this guy. Then it's two X minus seven. And then it's two X minus one. And that's your final answer, factored form, okay? <clears throat> okay, um, 27, 28, 29. I think some people told me numbers instead of the classification for those numbers, Khalees. Um, yeah, if you leave your phone here and make it snappy, they don't like people out today. Um, classifying by degree and number of terms. So what is the degree of 27? It's a quadrat. That's the name. What degree number? Two. It's a degree of two. Okay, so it's whatever is your highest exponent. So that is called a quadratic. And then how many terms are there? Which is called a binomial. Okay, that's a quadratic binomial. Uh, in the, on the final, I say classify this and then I give you options and you're gonna choose. It's a quadratic binomial. It's a, so you need to know what they mean. Yeah. The degree is always the biggest exponent. Write that on your note card if you're going to forget that. Yes. On the lunch tables? Yeah, when we're done. Um, okay, what is the degree of number 28? It's a three, so it's called a cubic. Okay, and then your number of terms is also three. What's that called? Trinomial. With three, it's a trinomial. One, two, three. Tricycle has three wheels, right? Trinomial. The number of terms? Um, one, two, three. So the addition and subtraction separates how all of your terms. Um, what's the degree of this one? It's linear. It's a degree of one, right? So when it has a degree of one, that is a linear. And this is a monomial. I didn't mean to put all my ones together and all my twos together and all my threes together. Sorry. Probably should have swapped that. Okay. Um, 30, 31, 32. We did all the A's yesterday, right? So we're going to do all the B's right now. Okay. For 31, 30, 31, 32. This? Did I just do it here? No, no, no. Oh, the. This. Nope. Where was that? The sketch? Yeah. Linear is a straight line, quadratic is a U shaped curve, and exponential is something that looks kind of like that. Um, okay, so 30B says solve the quadratic using the quadratic formula. So your A term is 2, your B term is 8, your C term is negative 3. Make sure the sign stays with it. So it's x equals a negative B, negative 8, plus or minus the square root of B squared. This is the one I said always put it in parentheses. If it's positive, it doesn't matter. But if it's negative and you don't have parentheses, you will get the wrong answer every time. Okay, so just put parentheses there. B squared minus four times A, which is two, times C, which is negative three, all over two times A. 
Um, and then you plug this into your calculator without the radical. So plug in eight squared minus four times two times negative three, which is 88. So this is negative eight plus or minus the square root of 88 over four. What perfect square is 88 divisible by? What? Perfect square. 4, 9, 16, it's 4. So this is going to break into the square root of 4 and the square root of 22. Um, so this is negative 8 plus or minus. This is 2 rad 22 over 4. Now, here are your options. You can either divide everything by 2, which is what I would do, negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 22 over 2, and call that your answer. Or you can break it into two parts, the first part and the second part. If you do that, you can divide that. So negative 4 over 2 is negative 2 plus or minus, and then you would still have the square root of 22 over 2. This is the one I usually did in class, but this is not wrong. So either way. Um, okay, 31B. How do you solve by square root? You have to isolate the x squared, and you were going to write that on your note card, right? Solving by square roots, isolate x squared. So you're going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2. So x squared equals 64. What's your answer? Be careful. Plus or minus 8. Plus or minus. Thank you, Allie. Um, plus or minus when you take the square root, oops, no radical, of both sides. So x equals plus or minus 8. That's fine. That. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, factoring. This one, if you're going to factor this, it has to equal what? Zero. zero. It has to equal zero. So 3x squared, add the 9x, subtract the 30, and set it equal to zero. What do you see here? They are all divisible by 3. There's a GCF. So you're going to take the 3 out. You're left with x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And now you can do factoring. So what can you multiply to get a negative 10 that you can add to get 3 with an a value of 1? Um, that's going to be a positive 5 and a negative 2. So you go 3. Don't forget your 3 out in front. x plus 5 x minus 2, and it's all equal to 0. So now this one's solving. So when you solve, you need x values. What are your two x values going to be? Set them both equal to 0, right? If you set those equal to 0 and solve, then x equals negative 5. Add 2. x equals 2. Okay? Good on that. Okay, are there any others that you would like to see from any of this? Or is there any concept that you're like, I need to do more of those? Um, did I tell you this already? Tomorrow? Mm. Not tomorrow. Don't come tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. Monday. I will be here. You guys can do 145 to 230. Um, sorry. I know. That's a bummer. Um, and then A2. What are you going to bring to your final? Uh, uh, pencil, uh, calculator, and note card. Pencil, calculator, note cards. Hear me right now, O oh class. That is my worst class for bringing calculators to things. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, I do not have enough calculators for you and all of my other classes to all get a calculator on that day. So if you bank on me having one, you may be sorely disappointed. Hey, if you show up to my final without a calculator, it is not going to go well for you. There is so much calculation 
you don't want to have to do that all in your head. It's going to take you three times as long, and then you're not going to finish the final because you had to try to do it all by hand. Nobody wants to do all that math by hand. That's what a calculator is for, to assist you in that process. Please bring a calculator. Yes, quickly. Um, okay.